First at noon campaign 2020, President Trump boarded Air Force One this morning at Miami International Airport and is headed to North Carolina where he will hold one of five rallies in four states today. Two days from now, we're going to win my home state of Florida. And we are going to win four more years in the White House. The president got a warm welcome from a very large crowd at a late night rally at the airport in Opelika last night. He is in the final stretch of his reelection campaign. Good afternoon. I'm Francis Wang. And I'm Maribel Rodriguez. We are now just one day away from the general election. Both President Trump and his Democratic challenger Joe Biden are making their last push for voters to cast their ballots. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer is live outside the Trump National in Doral, where the president left just a few hours ago. Brooke? Hey, ladies, good afternoon. President Trump wrapped up a whirlwind day of campaign rallies here in South Florida late last night. Today, he plans to do the same, heading from Miami to North Carolina. The president's stop in South Florida lasted less than 12 hours. He left his Doral Resort early this morning and boarded Air Force One around 10 a.m. The president arrived in Miami-Dade just hours earlier for a midnight rally in Opelika. Two days from now, we're going to win my home state of Florida. Our opponents want to turn America into communist Cuba or socialist Venezuela. The crowd was packed in tight at the Miami Opelika Executive Airport. There was no social distancing, which meant by county order, everyone should have worn a mask. Some did, but not everyone. At one point, the South Florida crowd erupted into a chant to fire Dr. Anthony Fauci, the nation's top infectious disease expert. Don't tell anybody, but let me wait till a little bit after the election. The president's speech late Sunday ended at 12.49 a.m. That's 49 minutes after the county's midnight curfew. Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez, who attended the rally, previously said it would end by midnight. It's a curfew the mayor has enforced on struggling businesses amid the pandemic. Before Sunday night's rally, he said, quote, as with any other events, the county will continue to enforce the curfew. We will be flexible, as we have been with recent late night sporting events, so that people get home safely. Now, again, that was the mayor's response yesterday before the rally started. I did reach out to Mayor Jimenez's office today asking for his response to the late ending to the president's rally, what he has to say to business owners who have had to follow that curfew for months now. I'm still waiting to hear back. For now, I'm live in Doral, Brooke Schaefer, CBS 4 News.